In life, you're bound to fail at anything. It happens. Living life without failures is unheard of. Whether it's failing a test in school, failing a class in school, missing the game-winning shot in a basketball game, getting rejected by a female. Everyone will face failures in life. It's impossible not to. With these failures comes the feeling of pain. Because in some scenarios, you feel this pain because you know you could have done better. You know you could have studied more for that exam. You knew that you could have put in more work before the big game outside of practice so that you could do better. But you let your own self down. Pain is inevitable, as I stated earlier. It is impossible not to feel this feeling. Situations in life will be thrown at you to feel this feeling of pain and if you're human it will affect you though i say pain is inevitable and basically impossible to avoid suffering on the other hand is fully completely optional suffering is the state of going through pain distress or hardship i say suffering is optional because you can maneuver your own lifestyle so that you won't be in that situation where you're suffering let's say you ask a girl out and you get rejected yeah you're gonna feel the pain because pain is inevitable as i stated but there are two different scenarios that will arise after feeling that pain. In scenario A, you ask the girl out and get rejected. You feel the pain of getting rejected. Completely normal. But then the guy in scenario A accepts the pain and he's like, okay. Looks introspectively and says, maybe I'm not that guy ready to go out dating. Maybe I need to work on myself. He noticed that he's a little skinny. He noticed that his clothes are wrinkly and that he really doesn't have a sense of fashion. He notices that his hair is long and hasn't gotten a trim in a minute. He notices that his hygiene isn't up to point. He then decides to work on these things. He gets a gym membership, goes to the gym five times a week. He starts building healthy eating habits so he can put on weight and put on muscle eventually. He starts buying new clothes and actually starts washing them and taking care of his clothes. In this scenario, this man used the pain of rejection and used it to his advantage. He used this feeling of pain to better his life, better his lifestyle, and better his habits so that the next girl he asks out, he won't be able to feel this pain of rejection again. So now we have scenario B. You ask a girl out and get rejected. Once rejected, you decide to put the blame on all females females in the world and view them as inferior. You totally ignore the fact that you haven't worked at all to be at that level to be noticed in the dating field. You frown upon people that go to the gym and want to better their lives because you think it is a waste of time. You indulge of hours of video game to escape your mediocre life and you let the pain of rejection, that single rejection you had in the early days, you let it haunt you for the rest of your life. If you don't take pain the right way, you will end up suffering. Like scenario A, the guy took pain the right way, bettered his life, and now he lives a lifestyle that he never thought that he would be living before. But in scenario B, the guy never accepted the pain, lived with the pain, and overall suffered his whole life. These two scenarios are actually way more common than one may think. And unfortunately, the scenario B, where the guy cho chooses to suffer, is the most common one. People will actually suffer lifetimes and not do anything about it, but there's a couple reasons why that could happen. You could be unmotivated, you could be lazy, maybe you're just ignorant, or maybe you just don't believe in yourself. Use the pain to your advantage like the man in scenario A and level up. I want to give you another scenario real quick, a little different scenario so that you can put this into perspective. So let's say there's a big job interview going around in your area and you're like, damn, I need a job. Why not go apply there? So you did the interview and everything went well. You wait for the response and the next day you wake up to an email saying that your application has been rejected. So there's two things you can do. I'm going to give you scenario A and B. Let's go. So you don't get the job. You sit for a second you're like, damn, that hurt but then you sit for a little longer and realize maybe i'm not qualified for the job maybe i should work on myself and learn new skills work on different aspects in my life and maybe for the next job i apply to they have no other choice but to accept me. You decide to work on different skills. Over time, you build communication skills, you work on building stronger connections, you learn a different language, and also, you look more presentable. You start getting haircuts on the regular, you start working out a little more, you start wearing suits that actually fit you. All these skills you have brought into your lifestyle have also brought in charisma and confidence. The next interview you go into, you get the job right away. You notice that you get paid more in this job than the first job you apply to you get more benefits than the first job you apply to and you're overall more satisfied with this job than if you were to get the first job that you applied to this all stems from feeling the pain of not getting the first job you applied in accepting it and just working on yourself and getting even a better job now let's talk about scenario b you apply to the job and you don't get the job you decide to take your sorrows away by heavily consuming an alcohol then you decide to stop looking for jobs because you reject yourself from working in these big corporations. And you decide that your job at McDonald's is 
is fine and that you're going to stay there for a little longer. Next thing you know, you live in a cycle that consists of waking up, going to work, getting home from work, drinking, scrolling on Instagram, playing video games, fapping, and going to sleep. You live in this cycle for the next 50 years and next thing you know, you wake up and you're like, damn, where's my life gone? What have I done with my life? I've done absolutely nothing. This is what happens when you let pain overtake your life. You suffer, and this is what happens to people when they suffer. The man in scenario B chose to suffer and let the pain of failure of not getting the job affect his lifestyle, his habits, and his future. In all scenarios I just listed, the guy who chose to suffer ended up getting screwed over and living a miserable lifestyle. When you are given difficulty in life, it is okay to feel pain. It's natural. Imagine feeling happy 24-7 with no problems that you encounter you wouldn't end up growing or developing at all the body works in cycles just like nature nature goes through seasons and the body goes through emotions sometimes you wake up motivated and ready to take on the day but sometimes you wake up lazy and you don't really want to do anything it's it's completely normal that's how the body works it is up to you and only you to take on these hard times